Hello everyone. It's great to connect with you in the new year. Talking about connectivity, let me show you a new feature that will soon make your Skoda experience even more interactive and rewarding. Okay, Laura, why should I use voice control in my Skoda? From ChatGPT, using voice control in your Skoda can offer several benefits. Firstly, it allows for hands-free operation. Secondly, it provides convenience by allowing you to control various functions without needing to take your hands off the steering wheel. Hmm, that makes absolute sense. Okay, Laura, my wife is cooking spaghetti carbonara tonight. Can you give me a list of ingredients we need? According to ChatGPT, to make spaghetti carbonara, you will need spaghetti pasta, bacon or pancetta, eggs, parmesan cheese, black pepper, garlic, and olive oil. Well, sounds tempting, right? Let's do something funny. Okay, Laura. I always wanted to know if penguins have knees. According to ChatGPT, yes, penguins do have knees. However, their knees are located inside their bodies, making them not visible externally. To set up the air conditioning, press the Climb a button on the button bar. Easily access and control all the functions you need. Set up the fan direction with the buttons on the right and the fan speed with the buttons on the left. To adjust the temperature to your needs, just tap plus or minus. Click Sync to synchronize both Climb zones. Or press the Auto button and let the system set itself. You can also select predefined functions like fresh air, warm feet or warm hands. Enjoy the perfect climate at all times in your Skoda Enyaq. Use customization to make the infotainment home menu your own. Tap and hold any tile to go to the adjustment screen. Tap the plus button to add another layout option. Then you can select from various types of tile layouts. Tap OK to choose your preferred one. You can select the content of each tile. Tap the tile and choose from the available options below it. And then the same for the others. Function selection depends on the size of the tile. Then tap finish and enjoy your new home screen. Now let's see the apps menu. Tap and hold the arrow icon to go into edit mode. Drag the functions to the bottom bar so you have them on hand. Or drag them from the bottom bar to the menu. All set? Press the check mark to save it. You can also adjust the vehicle settings menu. To do so, tap on the vehicle icon. Easily change the order of the icons via drag and drop to adjust the menu to your liking. Tap Finish to save your changes. Adjusting the passenger seat? It's easy. Tap on the vehicle, then the seat's icon. Adjust the passenger seating position using the buttons on the driver's seat. And tap Synchronize. The passenger seat will synchronize with the driver's seat. To activate Laura, just say, OK, Laura. What's the capital city of the Czech Republic? According to Wikipedia, the capital of the Czech Republic is Prague. Or press the voice button on the steering wheel. Do I need an umbrella tonight in Prague? It is very unlikely that it will rain in Prague during the night. 
Okay, Laura. Navigate me to Wenceslas Square in Prague. I found several search results. Please select an item from the list. Select the first one. Let's go. You can customize Laura to suit your needs using the infotainment's home menu. Laura can also be added as a favorite to the bottom bar. Press the tips icon to see what Laura can do for you, from playing songs, showing a flight status, or setting ambient lighting. Laura searches for destinations, reads your texts, tells you jokes, and more. By pressing basic functions, you can find recommendations and examples of how to make Laura as useful as possible. You can also record your own activation command for Laura. Just press the microphone icon. Hello, car. And this activation command can be easily deleted by clicking on the bin icon. Use Laura to avoid looking at screens and being distracted while on the road. Oder?